Hey everyone, I'm Samia Derdia. Welcome back to my channel. I haven't posted a video in a while now, that's cause I had exams and I apologize for that. But today I am back with another fun and interesting game. Today we'll be creating a Corona Shooter game in Scratch. Make sure to subscribe and don't forget to watch till the end. Let's go! Alright, so first for the background, let's upload a GIF file. If you haven't watched my video on how to upload animated GIFs in Scratch, please do watch it. It should be on your screen right now or you could get it in the description box below. I'll also put the link to the GIF that I use in the description box below. So I'm going to delete this default sprite one. And from here, I'm going to upload a sprite. We have our GIF here. Okay, so our GIF uh, looks too small, so I'm going to set the size to about 180. Okay, and we're going to just reposition it. Okay, so that looks good. Next, we're going to write small code for our GIF. Okay, so now let's write some code for our GIF. So as usual, we'll start with the one green flag clicked header block. And when the green flag is clicked from looks, we want to go to back layer and then from control we'll get a forever loop and a wait one second block. Uh, so we want to wait for a very very short amount of time which is 0 0.03 seconds and then we are going to switch to the next costume. So let's just see. Alright, so we've got our animated background. Now let's go to the next step. All right, so next let's get a rocket ship sprite. Here, so first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change its direction to 180 and we're gonna set its size to about 30%. Okay, so let's put it somewhere uh, here. All right, so next we're gonna get a when green flag clicked. When green flag clicked, we want it to go to, let's say, about negative 190. And for the while, let's do 10. All right. Uh, so now we're going to go to the control section and get a forever loop. So forever, we want to check if the up arrow key is pressed. So if key up arrow is pressed, then we want it to move up, which is towards the positive side. Uh, so we want to change its y by 10 there and I'm just going to duplicate this put it below so from up arrow we're going to change the down arrow so if the down arrow is pressed we want it to do the opposite which is go negative so we're going to change y by negative 10 okay so now let's test the movement of our sprite so I'm just going to click the green flag our background is animating and all right, we can move it successfully. Let's go to the next step. All right, so next, let's get our bullet. So for the bullet, I'm gonna choose this button too. I'm gonna rename it to bullet. All right, and this is a little too big, so we are going to set its size to something small. Let's say 15%. Okay, great. Then we're gonna check when the green flag is clicked, we want to set its size to 15%. So we're going to set size to 15%. And initially, we want to hide our sprite. So our bullets will be fired by the space key. So we're going to check when space key pressed. We want to create a clone of myself. So for our next script, when I start as a clone, we want it to go to the starting of our rocket ship, which is about here so we want it to go to let's round it off to uh let's say negative 155 and for the y position we want it to go to the y position of our rocket ship we can do that by the sensing block which is backdrop number of stage so first change the stage to our rocket ship there we'll get all these different options we're going to choose y position I'm going to snap it inside this placeholder here. Okay, next we want to show our sprite because initially we hid it. Okay, then 
let's say repeat until um, touching edge. So we're going to do touching mass pointer from the drop down. I'm going to choose edge. So repeat until it's touching the edge. We want to continuously move 10 steps. Move 10 steps. And after that, we're going to delete this clone. Okay, so first, let's just test the bullet. All right, so our bullet is working fine. Next, what we're going to do is we are going to upload a Corona virus sprite. So make sure your, sp your file is a PNG file so that we can see the background. Okay, so here I have my Corona virus. It's a little too big, so I'm going to set its size to 20%. All right. So now what we want to do is when green flag clicked, we initially want to hide our sprite. So we're going to hide and forever I'm going to get this wait one seconds block. Now one second would be too predictable. So what we're going to do is we are going to pick random from about two to four seconds. After that, we want to create a clone of myself. All right. So next script with when I start as a clone header block. We want to show our clone because initially we hid it. And then we want it to go to the very edge, very right edge of the screen, which is 240 of the X. And then we want to go to a random position uh, up or down at the right edge. So we're going to do pick random uh, from negative 150 to 150 for the y next we are going to set its size so set size to we're going to pick another random just to make it more interesting so we're going to pick random 20 to 40 percent to 40 percent all right so next from control we are going to get this repeat until loop so we're going to repeat until it is touching the rocket ship so touching rocket ship we want to now we want to set speed to a random number so we're going to create a variable and i'm going to make a variable for all sprites and name it speed all right we don't want to show it on our screen so we are going to set speed to a pick random Negative 8 to negative 1. So negative 8 to negative 1. Then next we want to change x by speed. So I'm just going to drag and place it here. All right. Now we want to see if its x position is less than negative 220. Then if it is, then we want to go to x. 240 and pick random for the y. So uh, we're going to get an if then condition, place it inside. From operators, I'm going to get this less than operator. So we're going to check for motion. X position is less than negative 220. All right, so if it is, then we want to do the same. We are going to go to motion again and get this go to. For x, we're going to put 240. And for y, we're going to pick random. So I'm just going to right click duplicate and place it inside here. All right, next we want to check if it's touching our bullet. So from control, we're going to get an if then. Sensing touching bullet. If it is, then we want to create a variable, name it score, and we're going to change our score by one. So from variables, I'm going to make a variable score again for all sprites and make sure it's visible on your screen. So score, what we're going to do is we're going to change score by one. Then we're going to do the same block, go to X and Y pick random. So I'm just going to right click duplicate and place it inside here. 
all right and then to make it more interesting we're gonna play a sound so from these sounds i'm gonna choose a sound i'm gonna choose coin all right so there from sound we want to start sound coin and after all this we just want to delete our clone okay so now let's test it out all right so there's our corona oh wow okay oh okay so i've hit the corona and the game should stop here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our rocket ship instead of this forever i'm gonna re remove this and put a repeat until so we're gonna repeat until it is touching the rocket ship i mean sorry uh it is touching the corona i'm gonna put this inside here let's also set our score back to zero here and at the end we are going to stop all Okay, now let's see what happens. Alright, so our score has set back to zero. I'm just going to purposefully hit one and see. Okay, the game has stopped. Great. But now, notice when I hit the space key, our bullet is still coming. That is because we have started a header block when space key pressed, so that will execute anytime. Instead of that, what we can do is we are going to create a variable. So I'm going to go to the rocket ship, we're going to create a variable and name it game end for all sprites and we don't want it to be, to be visible on our screen. So initially we're going to set game end to no. Alright. To no and before we stop all we're going to set game end to yes. All right, now let's go to our bullet. When space key press, we are gonna check if from operators equals to, so if game end, if game end is equals to no, then it will execute this. So let me try hitting the space key. Great, no bullet comes out. Now let's test out our full and final game. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Don't forget to check out my other videos. Follow me on my Insta at SaniaTheRadio. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comment section down below. Until next time, bye-bye.